Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be playing the RPCS3 emulator version 0 0.0.5 .0 It's been a few months since I've tried this emulator, so so this is my monthly slash two monthly checkup. And to start, I'm gonna be using the latest AMD drivers version 19.1.1, just to see if. This newer uh, driver stack and the newer RPCS3 emulator has resulted in any noticeable improvements. And of course, this is all on my AMD RX 580 GPU. And so with this first game, we're gonna start with God of War 3. But before that, as usual, let me go over the settings I have here. Pretty much leave everything as is here. Here I just switched the API to Vulkan. Audio as is. Everything else as is. And of course I just changed the GUI to be in dark mode. And have the performance overlay enabled here. So let's get started. So this first uh, opening credits here or this game menu. You can already tell there's been some visual improvements um, before when I was in this menu it was just like super glitchy the letters were not readable and um, <clears throat> with some fine tuning now they are actually readable and you can actually navigate the menu. As for performance you can see there probably won't be much um, improvement here but at least I can get through the menu just fine. It's the little things in life that helps. So once again, you can kind of see that there has been visual improvements even here in my last God of War 3 showcasing. Um, there was, um, you really couldn't see a lot of the characters and you couldn't really see uh, Kratos that well. But here it looks a lot sharper and this is a good step it forward here. Obviously the performance is still about the same where you get like two, three, maybe four or five FPS, um, making the game very unplayable. But that's just kind of the process that it's, um, that's just kind of the uh, progress it's being made at RPCS3. It's slow, pretty slow, but steady. Um, I'm gonna see. At least kicking their butts, although very slowly, it looks a lot nicer now. Moving on to Red Dead Redemption, you can pretty much see there's not much improvement here. It's still running at the usual 2 to 3 FPS. Um, you know, funny thing is, every time I play this, the visuals always look nicer and maybe there has been improvement there but otherwise there's not much else to say here um, this doesn't seem like the newer versions of rpcs3 nor the newer versions of the amd drivers have made much of a difference here moving on to uncharted drake's deception yeah it doesn't appear like there's been much in the way of performance improvements either the game still freezes or crashes at times. Moving on to the Linux side of things, um, I'm going to try God of War 3. I'm actually going to be using RPCS3 7732. That's just because I guess that's there's changes happening every day. Sometimes I can't test the very exact same copy of RPCS3, but it shouldn't be too different here. Um, so I'm going to pretty much be running the same settings. Of course, this time, because I'm on Linux, I'm using the Mesa drivers. And so that means I'm running Mesa 18.3.1. And in terms of the kernel, I'm running kernel 4.20.0 here. And with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and test God of War 3 again. And to my surprise, it still is just appears to be crashing over here 
is the same thing I got last time. So that's disappointing. Not much has been done to improve this part here. And I guess we'll just have to wait for the next couple of months here. Hopefully for some kind of fix. And moving on to Red Dead Redemption here. So one thing is I've noticed this new glitch pop up here. Um, so I'm just going to skip that here hopefully. So that's kind of disappointing. The other thing I experienced, I'm not sure if it'll happen this time. I appear to have got an RPCS3 seg fault, which if that happens again here means it's safe to say Red Dead Redemption has taken a step back on the latest um, AMD drivers and versions for Linux and the good thing is, okay, I guess it seg faulted the first time and now it's actually running. Yeah, just like on Windows, it's stuck in that 2 to 3 FPS mode. Um, right now, it looks like it's all over the place going at 100 FPS, but that's deceiving. It's really at about 2 to 3 here. So overall, on Linux, it looks like Red Dead Redemption has regressed a bit even. So moving to Uncharted, the performance looks about the same you kind of get that 5 fps 6 fps range and it is kind of lagging now because of the recording a bit but so don't let the performance really fool you it's at about the same performance wise uh, there is a weird glitch with the sound now though so that could be something going on there so overall Looks like there's even been some slight regression in that area. So let me go ahead and exit out. And so, and so pretty much to summarize on Windows, um, things haven't really changed much. Red Dead still runs the same. Uncharted still displays the same behavior, still crashes going to level 2. God of War 3 did have visual improvements, not much in terms of performance. And on Linux, um, I don't know if it's due to the newest Mesa drivers, but it seems that there's been overall regressions there. So that's disappointing, but you got to keep in mind RPS, uh, PS3 emulation is very difficult. There's only a couple of people working on this emulator, so, you know, you really can't complain much. Um, I'm hoping to do another video on this probably in another few months. Maybe it'd be nice to see some improvements then. Maybe I'll wait until there's been actual improvements before I do a video. But alright guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.